Hey everybody, it's Valerie, and I am doing a video today about why I have limited my intake on dairy, cow's milk specifically, why I have limited my uh, meat to almost no meat at all, and how I stay away from multiple medications while being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and Lyme disease. So hopefully this will be really beneficial for you guys. I have felt the best that I have felt in a very long time. I have started, let's see, not sure how long ago now it has been since I started uh, CBD oil, uh, CBD gummies. It's got to be at least um, full time. <clears throat> three months now, almost three months, actually two months, two months, like real full time. Um, so I was in Colorado for a meetup with my Parkinson's group and I actually bought some uh, CBD gummies while I was in Colorado and I was taking them faithfully every single day, half of one, and I started feeling like a lot of symptoms of Lyme disease come out, like a lot of real like heavy feeling in my legs, achiness, um, fatigue, a lot of it came out. And I realized I was killing off a lot of Lyme bacteria um, from the CBD. And I thought right there that I had too many toxins building up and I needed to at least try to flush them out to rid myself of, of um, a lot of them. So I, I calmed down and I stopped taking the uh, not calm down, but I stopped taking them to give my body a break. So I thought a week I would not take them and um, to get the toxins flushed out. And let me tell you, I felt completely, 100% amazing after doing that. So I knew definitely I had a lot of Lyme bacteria to die off. If you have Lyme disease, try, please, try CBD oil. The CBD gummies I got. Um, were five to one ratio, five CBD to one ratio of THC, and those were in Colorado. Um, if you have your medical card, you can also um, get a lot more variety of different things. So, highly recommend for anybody with Lyme disease and Parkinson's disease to help your symptoms. It tremendously helps Parkinson's tremors. I, I cannot say that enough. I have real bad balance issues. That has um, helped but has not rid the balance issues this has completely made me feel symptom free of parkinson's disease and lyme disease no doubt no doubt i have felt amazing since i was diagnosed almost three and a half years ago with um, parkinson's and i right now feel the best i've felt since being diagnosed um, i do take my levodopa carbidopa i take that um 25 100 four times a day and I take a nighttime extended release, um, 50, 200. Um, so I do take about five pills a day for that. I haven't stopped that. I do take a levothyroxine for hypothyroid, but that's it. That is all the pills I take on both of these illnesses. I don't take anything for sleeping. I do not take nothing for pain. I do not take nothing for constipation. I don't take anything for mood disorders. I don't take anything for depression, nothing. Um, I think what needs to be educated a little bit more and I'd love to be able to express my thoughts of this especially on YouTube but I feel like the more meds you get added on to your illnesses the more you know symptoms you have and you need this pill for this symptom this pill for this symptom and I'm sure you guys have heard this before but it adds in so much um, added side effects to all these different kinds of medications so you don't know even how your body is functioning anymore you literally lose your own self you lose how you're supposed to feel what your body is is telling you you don't know anymore because this is this could be side effects to medications and you don't know if it's a symptom of a disease or something else happening in your body god forbid another disease or illness or anything happening so i think if we limit our intake on medications we can feel and know what our bodies are doing so I think it's extremely important um, information. I really wanted to get out in this video mostly, um, which I'm already about halfway through. I wanted I wanted this about 10 minutes, so we're about halfway. Um, but that I can't stress enough. I cannot stress enough. 
Um, so th I've been feeling great with that. So that's the one big thing that's made a huge difference for me. And I will continue to do so. Uh, I have limited my uh, dairy cow's milk. I have eaten goat milk cheese um, and rice milk. Now, I stopped cow's milk, and there is ethical reasons, but I feel, it's not all ethical, like I'm not even going there, but I feel so much better. I feel amazing. I know since childhood I was like lactose intolerant, but about 75% of Americans are. And I, I always thought it was me that was lactose intolerant, but I think, you know, it's not you or this person or this person, their body. I think it's actually, it is the hormones, it is the, the um, unhealthiness of the cows out there that are lactating milk and um, what is, is being um, produced. So I think our bodies are just not digesting what is being produced. So um, my body has felt so much better. I was bloated. Um, I mean, I, I, I could say a million things that have changed with me. I was bloated and I stopped eating dairy and I'm not bloated anymore. I don't have heartburn. I don't have gastric problems. Um, let me tell you, I was diagnosed with gastritis. I was diagnosed with um, EE, eosinophilic esophagitis. I was diagnosed with um, uh, heartburn, gastric reflux, uh, hiatal hernia. I mean, I was diagnosed with stuff, you guys, a lot of things um, about and now it's about a decade ago or so. And you wouldn't even, I, there's no way I would be diagnosed with these things today. So um, eliminating all that cow's dairy has been a huge, huge benefit to me. And then I also, for ethical and how I feel reasons on meat, I do eat turkey meat. And I have eaten turkey meat actually the most. Um, but occasionally I'll have bacon. I'll occasionally have a beef burger. I haven't lately. I'm only eating turkey and I'm only buying things that are truly organic meat. Um, not that it's always treated better either, but um, the animals treated better. But I am sticking strictly to organic grass fed um, animals and local. I'm sticking to local where um, I know where these farms are, where these cows are, are raised, where their um, pasture, what fields they're in, um, you know, pastures they're in and, and how they're treated. So. Um, buying local, if you don't trust your markets, um, buying local is awesome and um, helping out your local um, meat farmers and everything. So I just feel a difference. I feel a difference with not eating meat and just having vegetables. I mean, it's like listening to your body, right? That's what it really comes down to. It's just listening to your body. If your body feels great on meat, awesome. If your body feels great on vegetables, awesome. That's, that's your life, that's your, your, your thing. And it's, it's you listening to your body. So that's what I've been doing is just listening to my body. I'm not listening to this person, this person, this. Listen to yourself. And your body's going to tell you. And I think that actually goes back to medications and where people, you know, will suppress or, or mask all of these. Uh, your body speaking to you because you don't know what's happening anymore. You don't know what your body's feeling anymore. And if you actually truly listen and feel what you feel, and what your body is telling you, you already know. So food-wise, medication-wise, if we open ourselves up more and truly just listen, really listen to our bodies, we can, you know, heal ourselves. Honestly, we can. We can do it through food, and we can do it through CBD, cannabis. The stuff, it helps. It, it's just, it, there's facts. I mean, it's facts on how, what the stuff can do. Um, but health-wise, food-wise, um, I can go on forever. I think I'm actually going to make another video for you guys strictly on CBD, and um, I'm going to stick with 100% CBD on YouTube because not all states um, are legalized for um, cannabis marijuana, so um, I'll try to help people out there that have medical marijuana cards and just CBD 100% um, stuff just to um, stick with that. So I'm almost about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to make another video for you guys. So hopefully this will help. I'll do one on, like I said, CBD. And I'll do another video on food. Um, just to, you know, kind of dedicate videos to those. To kind of give my um, advice and um, such to those subjects. So, all right. So I hope you guys found this extremely helpful. I know I have. And um, if you have any um, questions, 
I'm going to leave the comments open below. Um, I do turn off comments sometimes if I'm getting people that are just harassing because it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but if you ever, you know, have a question, I'm going to leave comments open for a bit. Uh, please ask below, especially before I turn any comments off, ask below anything you want that I can go into my next video to answer for you. All right, so everybody take care and be well. Bye-bye.